I was blown away. Blown away by the value in this set, especially when it comes to the extended art cards. And I'll even tell you all the prices of like some of these crazy numbers I came across. Just doing a little bit of research um, when uh, before the video. Usually I do that, you know. This is a battle. We got three brave souls. Eric, Greg, and Kevin. One of them is going to take home everything inside this box. If you want to get up in on the battles, all you got to do is be a patron. Link in the description of every video. Same about case breaks and all that. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, may the value of everybody on your side. There's, I think, two cards over 100 bucks. And these boxes right now, after tax, you're looking at about 240 roughly. 230 240 I mean, of course, it always depends where you get them. I'm sure you could find some deals after tax, 220 Probably find some deals out there for you know, 230 Maybe you might get really lucky. 2 210 Who knows? Uh, but TCG market value right now has these at about two fifteen. I think these are freaking darn good deals, man. Especially if you pull some of the big shows. The extended art cards are just insane. I couldn't believe they were worth so freaking much. There you go. There you go. This is nuts. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do prices probably like midway through the video. I'll let you guys know like what we if we don't pull a certain card. But even some of the rares are like 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Like this is the most, this is, this kind of blows my mind, but like wow, how good are the odds of pulling those crazy cards? We're gonna find out right now. Let's do this. Good luck, Eric. Eric said, shall we? I pulled out a second mortgage to be in this battle. I hope I win. And I said, I hope you do too. Man, the lighting's all screwy in here right now. I don't even like the lighting. All right, underworld charger. There's only one common worth over a dollar uh anything over a dollar will be factored into this if it's uncommon or common if it is rare oh, there's a six dollar freaking card right there that's insanity where's my bell no one knows holy crap okay the swampy these are still gorgeous to look at i bet they have a good price on them i did not even look into the price of the lands so we'll find out oh, that's right they double tapped on these forests as well all right Tree Shaker Chimera. Not the, uh, what were these called? This isn't even Commander. This is something else, right? Are these, these aren't in Commander. This was like that little side project they did or something weird. Temple of Malice. Bada skidink. Okay. Beautiful. But if, there's certain foils that are worth quite a bit. Nader Kraken. Extended Art Foil. Probably not one of those worth a whole lot. Maybe like, I don't know, five bucks, three bucks, something like that. All right, moving along. Come on, baby. Oh, shit balls. I need the freaking bell right now. There's Heliod, Sun Frickin' Crowned. Gorgeous. Nice showcase card. Um, the foil version is up to like 30 but there was a time this card dropped all the way to like $11. So keep that in mind. Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. I don't think he's up there in price yet. I really don't. I think he's still low. There's just a lot of him to go around. And a Human Soldier. I'm going to find my bell. Shoink. All right. We have the panic button. Very good pack for Eric starting out. Probably like 30 to 40 bucks value easily. Let's keep this ball rolling. All right, Greg, what do you got, man? What does Greg got? What does Greg got? There we go. Final flare. Sure. Sure play him. I'm trying to think what the one common was. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm going to go over prices here in just a moment. Stern Dismissal. Dream Shaper Shaman. Annex Hardened. God, this card was so annoying. Remember Mono Red during the standard? Oh, God. Swampy. These should probably be over a buck, like, for quite a few of these. There's a mountain, so I'll slow play them a little bit. Oh, Victory's Envoy. Still like this card. As long as you can keep it on the battlefield, it does some fun things. And it just keeps splashing plus one, plus ones everywhere, you know? All right, that's his Oracle. That's a hot freaking dog. That's not a bad one. Um, in the extended art foil, Wow. Like, it's, I think it's over 25. I'll, I'll tell you in a second. But regular Thassa's Oracle still brings in some nice value. Alrasta of the Endless Web. Oh, epic fail. There's a foil, though. Come on, baby. Ajax, plumber. There you go. Nope. And Kalafi. Yeah, these never really took off these demigods price-wise because there's just so many printed. So they didn't really do a whole freaking lot. All right, what else we got? Bye, guys. Say bye. 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 Okay, the girls left.
Have fun. We'll see you. All right, here we go. Reflection. Shwink. Rumbling Sentry. It's funny because when I start a video, I'm like, all right, everyone be quiet. Uh, but then, like, uh, I, I allow, you know, they're good to talk at times, you know, but, like, you can't be like, oh, my God, give me back my ball. You know, like, they freaking scream and get crazy with each other. That's what kids do, though, you know. Found like tactics, gray merchant of ass poodles. It's weird, man. It is what it is. What bestiality. I don't know. I don't get it. All right, gray merchant. The extend uh, or the showcase is actually a pretty one to get, but that one's still not worth much. Swampy in the foil. This one is uh, this one's Kevin all freaking day long. Kevin, pull some value. Mountain. Right now, Eric's winning. You don't want him to win, do you? Iron scale Hydra. That one's up there in price a little bit. Probably a few bucks. I know it's been seeing more play lately. Hard to get rid of, you know, Vexal stuff. Wolf Strider. Oh man, are we gonna pull a hundred dollar card? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Wolf Strider. I have obstruction. Cannot recall that one. Maybe an extended art. Again, extended art foils are sick in this. They are absolutely disgusting priced, man. Calafy, beloved of the sea. And oh, I say this. As we pull Ashiok, Nightmare Muse, which is not valued that much. I don't know if it's the art. I know it's a very good control card, you know, mid-late game. This thing is really tough to freaking deal with. It really is. So maybe down the road, it'll increase in value. But right now, I, I think, in my opinion, I think it's under 10 bucks right now just for that. But not a bad card. Okay. We are off to the races. So here's some cards. Here's some prices. Listen to this crap. $4.59 for Gravebreaker Lamia. $111.56 for the Croxa Titan of Death's Hunger Extended Art. That's nuts. $74.82 for Nyx Bloom Ancient. Like, seriously? That is nuts, man. And then we got uh, even the, the Kunoros, uh, Hound of Athreos, $6.47. These are all Extended Art foil prices, by the way. Through the roof, man. $72.70 for a Shadow Spear Extended Art Foil. What? $66.29 for a Foil Thassa's Oracle. $22.59 for the Agonist. $18.24 for Idyllic Tutor. All Extended Art Foil. Nyx Lotus is $25.59. We're going to go over more prices in just a moment. Holy freaking crap. Like, I was blown away by that. But, again, it all depends on, like, the odds, you know, of what you end up pulling. You know, how how easily can you pull an extended art foil is the question. There we go. We got a token here. We got a token here. Here, here we go. Daybreak Chimera. Come on. Mountain Moss Viper. That's juicy. Okay. Oriad. Nothing. Training. Heliod's Punishment. Nada. Nothing there. Got the foil planes. Ah, oh, what are these going for? Shared on my research. I would imagine this island got to be like two bucks, buck fifty at least in foil. Terror of Mount Malice. I've played with this many times over. Very fun card just to close out a game. That double strike, man, for all your creatures. Nutty. Ah, the cacophony. Ain't nobody laughing at that. The old cacophony. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Eric still tearing it up. He is tearing it up, man. Thassa's Oracle Foil. Elspeth Conquers Death showing up on our doorstep. I don't think this one's that much. Elspeth Conquers Death. And wow! Two extended art foil mythic planeswalkers in one box. You don't see that all the time. Calyx Destiny's Hand, not that great. When they drop another enchantment set, I'm sure this thing will shoot up in price. Uh, right now, probably dirt cheap to get your hands on one of those. I'll put that in the cool guy pile, but... Still not up there in price. Greg, oh man. Greg, good luck, bud. Good luck. I'll, I'll cover some more prices in just a moment. And they're fun to hear, especially like at the going rate they're at. Oh my goodness. All right, memory drain. That's That sums up my entire life right there. That's right. Omen of the Hunt, Scavenging Herpes. Okay, Revoke, Altar of the Pantheon. Mm -hmm. There was a point, this was over a dollar. I don't think it is anymore. Staggering Insight. Nyx Herald. Beloved by a uh, beloved of the see, there you go. Mountain, come on, Greg. Seriously, dude, do something, okay? Do something. Planes, here we go. Here we go. Shake it, big, shake it, big, shake it. Oh, grasping giant, son of a big bag. Not gonna cut it. Um, which you, I already told you, Croxa. Oh my god, 
<laughs> not a foil though, but holy crap. Thank you, Greg, for doing something. That is magnificent. Nice Croxa Titan of Death's Hunger. Man, that art is sick. It's like he's got two mouths. Just imagine what he could do in the bedroom. Okay, Nightmare Shepherd. Wow, foil. I like this card, fun to play with. Uh, Nightmare Shepherd, very cool. Holy crap, we are making out like a bandit. Like seriously, that's our second Heliod Sun crown. This is like a god box, kind of. Not really, but kind of. Okay. Healy had Sun Crown showing up. Tyrant chosen from death. There you go. Nice little demigod. Not bringing no value. And the human soldier. Wow, Greg. Greg just shot up, dude, real freaking fast. And not that bad stuff. Hooray. All right. Some huge value there. Kevin. Kevin, show me the value, buddy. Kevin's got to step it up now. Is Kevin going to go get completely bust in this one and just do absolutely terrible? There is a possibility. Nelia's Forerunner. Come on, Plummet. Mm-hmm. Minions return. No one cares. Captain of the Pileys. Ooh. Hydra's Growth. Believe it or not. For Uncommon. That's over a buck. Fun card. You, you let this thing uh, grow quite a bit. Like two turns. Watch out, man. It's going to be wrecking freaking crowds. Planes. Trains. Automobiles. Island. Here we go. Kevin, it's all about these next cards. Wow. Ashiok Sculptor of Fears. These came in those Planeswalker decks. Not a whole lot of value. Maybe a buck, two bucks, something like that. Remember, every mythic and rare will be factored in regardless of price. There's Tectonic Giant. Come on, baby. Oh! Even at Thassa's Intervention, extended art foil, I think it's over 10 bucks. Like, what? Maybe. I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, the first crappy games. Every time I get my hopes up and play this card, it just doesn't pan out. They destroy my creature that has power... Four greater, right before Saga 3 hits. I don't get to draw my two cards. I go home crying, sucking on my thumb, curled up in a little ball fetal position. That's right. Beloved by the sea. Uh, beloved of the sea and Seder. Dang, Kevin. Kevin is not liking this right now, but that's all right. That's all right. He doesn't have to like it. He has to accept it. He'll come to terms one day. I know. He'll come to terms one day. Here we go. Okay. Goat lives matter. Here we go. Desi, you sick SOB. Okay, we got the goat token. We're going to throw that down here. Bam. The piles mean nothing. Sun main Pegasus. All right. Flicker of Fate. Underworld. Captivating. Hero of the Pride. Nothing, nothing. Planes. Okay. Cool art, but this doesn't really bring nothing. Cling to dust. Come on, baby. Foil forest. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. With the foil island. I would assume these are nice. Like, these got to be worth some value. I had a lot of inspiration. That is one card you don't want to see. That's, we'll hit the panic button. There we go. Multi-purpose. Delicos, Crafter of Wonders. It's like we extracted all the big value in the first few packs. I don't think so, though, but we're getting there. Idyllic Tutor. This one's like 18 bucks for extended art foil. Uh, but this is just a regular foil, so probably not too powerful there. Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. And, oh, yeah, but you got rid of the token. And Tyramid, Chosen from Death. Nothing too fabulous there. All right, Greg, let's go over some prices really quick. One more time, because I, I think it's nuts. $11.90 for Clothis, God of Destiny. That's the showcase. Nothing really too nuts. That's the, those are all foils, by the way. $8.78 for Archon of Sun's Grace. The regular is $2.12. Extended art. Heliod's Intervention. This one blew my freaking mind. Heliod's Intervention, Extended Art, $6.37. The foil, $16.02. What? $58.73 Underworld Breach Extended Art Foil. The base is $13.67 for Extended Art. Wow. She's a lot of modern play. Dryad of Isian Grove, another huge one. This is, these are rares, guys. $53.89 for the Extended Art Foil. Holy crap. $29.45 for that Heliod Sun, uh, Sun Crown Foil Showcase. And uh, I think I got a couple more for you. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Temple of Deceit, Extended Art Foil, 1233. I never thought I'd see that day. 1021, Extended Art Thrix. And that's the whole King Kaboo for right now. Those are the cards I put up on the uh, on the board. Ke uh, Greg. Greg, what do you got, pal? Greg needs a big winner, guys. But seriously, can you believe that? Like, that is just nutty, man. I couldn't believe that. By the way, I'm going uh, hunting for a Christmas tree tonight. I know. We're going to go find a Christmas tree and bring it home. We're going to put it in our window. That's what people do nowadays, I guess. 
Uh, but yeah, what's a good Christmas tree? And have you guys got a Christmas tree yet? If not, have you set up the, the, the Hanukkah candles? Um, I, I don't know what else there is to celebrate. There's other things out there, though. Kwanzaa, what do you do for that? I have no idea. Uh, agonizing remorse. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, my God. Greg, planes. Oh, no. We have pulled a shit ton of planeswalkers. I'll say that. Was that? We're up to four or five already? I think five planeswalkers are at right now. Oh, my God. Shadow the Sky. Oh, I hated seeing this card. I hate seeing that card. Nessie on board. You freaking tease. Nessie on board. I thought for a while this was like in a side product, but no, it's in the main set. Terramet, Chosen from Death, Daxos, Blessed by the Sun. See how many Daxos you get? That's why Daxos isn't worth a damn. They really flooded that slot, you know. It's a good card, but maybe they just have no intentions of printing those demigods for a while, you know, and that's the reason they, they, they just went to crazy town on the print run with them. Maybe that has something to do with it. Not sure. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is all Kevin. Kevin needs some big value, dude. Slaughter Priest. Whatever. Twice favored. Foil Mountain, Foil Plains, oh, not worth a penny. Okay, Nessium Boar, non-foil, ouch. Kevin, dude, oh, that's cool, but this card is not taken off either. I have tried running it many times. I mean, it, ser it serves some purpose, but it's, it, they could have made this a three drop and it wouldn't have seen much play. I mean, I'm <laughs> just throwing it out there. Erebos, uh, Renata, like her too, usually can't make much use of her. These cards are great. Um, I mean, certain demigods, but like Renata, that's, she's good and like limited. You know, like if you're playing like a draft or something like that, she's she's a powerhouse. Damn, Kevin, dude! Hey, all he needs is one freaking uh, what was it Draxos? Uh, no, no, Crax, Crax, Craxus, Craxus, Crack and Crax. Um, extended art foil, and dude it just wins, most likely, maybe. Okay, someone pulls something huge. We haven't had a big hit for a while here. Thirst for Meaning, The Kraken, Rise to Glory, uh-huh, Heroes of the Rebel, whatever, Swampy, there you go, Eric's last pack, he's hanging in there, Forest, oh man, oh man, oh man, so, that's a good hit as well, over 12 bucks, I'm salty because I remember seeing this card for $2, and I'm like, why is that card $2, it makes all those things unblockable, that's like amazing, you know, and it's enchantment on top of that. Treacherous Blessing. There you go. Treacherous Blessing. <sighs> Mantle of the Wolf. Mantle of the Wolf is still a decent one. No, it's not. I think that might be like three bucks. Extended Art Foil. The Extended Art Foils maybe had a lesser print run in this set. If anyone knows the actual reason why they go for so much, holy Daxos. What do we need? Like seven Daxos in a freaking box? Cranky me. All right. Uh, Eric, that is your total, man. I hope that brings you some luck. Greg and Kevin got to go. We have not seen a big hit in a while. None of the massive freaking pools. We did see some decent ones, but nothing really that is like 50 bucks, you know. They're still hiding in here. We'll see what happens. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Forest foil. Okay. Island foil. Come on. Sphinx Mindbreaker. Forgot you were in here. Ugh. Sorry about your luck there, Greg. Yikes. Not foil, but Hound of Athreo shows up. A few bucks. Okay. Ah, oh, Tectonic Giant. Come on. Big, 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 big money. Oh, real war. All right. We need to get some kind of god card right here. Annex Harden. That's not going to cut it. Foil. And that's it. Dang, Greg. Did not finish on a high note. I think he had some decent pulls, but we got Kevin. Kevin's going last here. Kevin, good luck. Still blown away by the value. Cool, in there. All right, here we go. Last pack to crack. Kevin can win it all right now. It all boils down to this. Kevin can freaking close it out and just trump everybody. Nessian Wanderer. Cool, cool. Archon. Fallen Stars. Planes. Yeah, come on, baby. I'm excited. Island. Zathrio. Shroud Veiled. Cool card, but these were uh, box toppers. And they were just distributed in every single freaking box. So, not the most impressive, but fun card to play with. You know, mostly Commander or Brawl or something. Shadow Spear. But that's worth talking about. All right. Kevin's still in this, man. He pulls one nasty freaking card. And it's game over. Shadow Spear shows up. You got two decent ones right here. Shadow Spear is brilliant. Bronze Hide Lion. Shapoopy. 
Come on. Oh, damn. Why did it have to be that? Calix, suck. All right. I was hoping for a real good show down here. Might still have it. Daxo. Oh, my God, dude. The print run. Was that eight Daxos? Somebody tell me how many Daxos. That's insanity. Dang, man. All right. Not that I was hoping Kevin would win it. I would hope it was really close. It might be really close. I have no freaking idea, man. Uh, there's the totals. Uh, congratulations to the winner. These battles are fun no matter how you look at it, but I hope you guys uh, have fun watching this. You learned something about the values and the cards. We didn't really pull any of the nutty extended art foils, which tells us one thing. They're not easy to come by, and that's why they're worth so damn much. Question answered right there, um, if you were curious. That all makes sense, because wow, we really didn't pull any crazy high-priced extended art foils. Uh, but still, some good value all around. Thank you guys for participating. Joy Moss, Bad Boy MTG, Gaming, whatever. If uh, you want to be a part of these, check the link in the description. And also, TCG Player, if you're going to purchase anything, dude, why not spread spread the love? Spread the love like some venereal disease, you know? And just go on in the link in the description. Uh, use that link for TCG Player when you make your purchases. And it helps out the channel. Great to support it for free. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Joy Moss, Bad Boy MTG, Gaming, whatever, skadoosh. Uh...